I want to show you how to use the debounce function to handle search in React. So this usually comes up in coding interview where you are asked to build a search functionality that does not trigger a request on every keystroke input or every user input. So over here we have the basic setup where we are using the bounce function to delay or defer search um, functionality until the user stop typing or the user take a pause from typing. So the debounce function takes in two parameters, which is the set value. And this is um, our state here. We want to set our state here. And then we have the timeout in seconds. So it returns also a function which we are going to be calling with event.target of value, which is the value coming in from this input over here. Heading over to the debounce function, we have a closure here. And inside this closure, we have a local variable called timeout. The debounce the debounce function takes the callback and the number of seconds we want to be able to wait for the user to stop um, typing before we take actions. The debounce function returns a function that takes in some arguments. These arguments are meant for the callback, so it's going to take in some the arguments that are meant for this callback. And then we call the clear timeout. So the clear timeout is supposed to clear the previous timeout that we have set before to this local variable. So we are doing that over here. We are passing the callback with the arguments to be called later at a specific time. This time is usually the time we are waiting for the user to stop typing or to stop um, putting in values into the input box. So anytime the user types in a value, this function is going to be called and the previous timeout will be cleared. The previous timeout will be cleared and then there is no value set till the user stop typing for a certain period of time and then we set the um, value by calling this callback so heading back to app.tsx heading back to app.txs you can just visualize how everything works before i go ahead and run this let me just change this one second over here to like three seconds so you can see the effect so let me save and then let's do npm run dev and well let's click on this and here you have the um the web page so i'm going to try and search max and so you can see the effect so when i type max it takes about three seconds after i stop typing yes before it's search for max and if i clear it does the same it does the same so i'm um, searching for an empty value and all the remaining value comes in so feel free to like and subscribe um, if you find this information useful and i'll see you next time